What's going on everybody? This is Cody, the Home Theater Hobbyist. And today I wanna to talk to you about something that's a little bit off of the home theater path, and that is this webcam. Now, over the past year and a half, a lot of us have been doing a lot more virtual visits with things, family members, doctor's appointments, whatever it may be. And I personally will use something like my iPad, which the video quality isn't as good, but you know, it works as quick, it's easy, right? Now, if I wanna be a little bit more serious about my video quality, I'll grab a DSLR and kind of set it up on the tripod you know get the background blur you know zoom it the way I want to but again it's a lot more heavy-handed so there is definitely a place in all of our lives for something like this this is the Wirestorm Focus 200 a 4k UHD webcam with dual mics built in in the box you get the webcam and a USB-C to USB-A cable to connect it to your computer or laptop when I took this out of the box, the first thing I noticed was the privacy cover over the lens. I like that. It's just a little rubber cover that pops on and off, and it's got a little uh, connection here, so you, it just kind of hangs there, and then you can put it back on when you're ready. The other thing it has is a little LED light right here to the right of the camera to let you know that it is recording on each side over here. And over here are stereo microphones, so it gets better audio quality, which is pretty cool. Um, the camera itself does tilt up and down and also rotates right and left so you can get that perfect angle. And this arm does extend out so you can put it on the back of a laptop. There's a little bit of rubber right here and right here to protect the surface finish on your laptop or the back of your computer monitor. Now moving around back, here's the USB-C connection and you can also see this little screw hole here that I think is like a quarter 20 or whatever, but it allows you to sit this up on a tripod if you need it. So it's actually a pretty good design. As for setup, this works with both Windows and Mac. No drivers required. All you do is put the USB-C cable into the back of the webcam and the USB-A 3.0 into a 3.0 compatible uh, USB-A port on your computer so that you get the highest video quality. It works with all the major video streaming platforms including FaceTime, Zoom, WebEx, Teams, and many others. Now let's talk video and audio quality. Right now I'm actually recording on the Focus 200 and I'm recording in 4K30 on a Windows PC using the built-in camera app. And honestly, I think this image looks pretty good. It's reasonably sharp and it's in focus. I do think it's a little bit bright so I can actually go into the camera app here and just turn the brightness down just a little bit to sort of what I think of as closer to my skin tone and there we go so that's the brightness turned down and i do think this image is still just a little bit washed out this green isn't as green as you can see on that camera that's right over there the shirt is actually that color not the color that you see here but overall i think this has really good 4k quality but you can also turn down the quality in this camera app and that's kind of why i wanted to use it because it's got all of the settings so let's go ahead and let's switch to 1080p so here I am in 1080p, 60 frames per second. And the image looks good, but it's not quite as good as the 4K, it's not nearly as sharp. But I do think it looks pretty good. Again, the same color kind of things going on here. I've got the same brightness setting, all that stuff. All I've done is I changed to 1080p. But we can drop even further down and hit 720p at let's say 30 frames per second, and let's see how that looks. So 720p, 30 frames per second, and again, just to notice a little bit softer image. Not bad, but a little bit soft. Now I'm back in 4K 30 and obviously this is much sharper and just looks better than 240p. But you're also hearing the audio from the Focus 200. How does it sound? How does it sound compared to my overhead microphone? Uh, it sounds good, but it's not as good as the overhead microphone, obviously. But a real test of this is how does it work with other services? So I'm going to play a few samples for you where I compare this to the webcam on a 2019 iMac and also a 4K DSLR with a few different services. This is a FaceTime call using the built-in microphone and camera on the iMac. This is a FaceTime call using the microphone and video from the 4K webcam. This is a WebEx recording using the built-in microphone and camera on the iMac. This is a WebEx call using the microphone and camera on the 4K webcam. This is a WebEx call using the microphone on the 4K webcam and the DSLR for video. This is a Zoom recording using the built-in microphone and camera on the iMac. This is a Zoom call using the microphone and camera on the 4K webcam. This is a Zoom call using the microphone from the webcam and a DSLR. 
Hopefully you enjoy those samples and could tell a difference between the different services and also the different cameras. And I want to start with audio. Obviously the audio from the Focus 200 is better than the audio uh, from the iMac, but not quite as good as a dedicated microphone. So let's just put that out there. As far as video quality is concerned, I found that the Focus 200 image is a bit clearer than let's say a 2019 iMac, but it is limited by the service. Most of the services are streaming in HD versus 4K UHD. So that's why the overall image was much softer than what you're even seeing right here because they're streaming in HD is being compressed, right? But when they begin to upgrade their services and go to 4K, if you buy the Focus 200, you'll already be ready because you have a camera that can stream in 4K. Now, as far as the image quality is concerned, I found that the Focus 200, again, had a bit more, a little bit more clarity, a little bit more detail compared to the iMac. I found that the color itself was pulling a little bit blue, whereas the iMac was pulling a bit red, and that DSLR was actually a bit more color accurate than both of them. Um, now, one of the benefits of the Focus 200 is its wide field of view. So if you want to do a family video call, you can get more people in the shot. But one of the downsides is I find that it's just a little bit more fisheye. But the good news is you can zoom in. If you have a software package like OBS or something like that, you can zoom in. It has like, I think an 8X digital zoom. So that's good. Also, if you have OBS, you can do a bit more color correction so you can get things a little bit more color accurate. So it gives you a lot more control than let's say a standard out of the box webcam will do on a computer. So those are a couple benefits and you know some of the things that you're paying for when you buy this camera. Now, I did try a FaceTime call with my mom and she did prefer the Focus 200 over the built-in webcam on the iMac. She said that it was just a little bit clearer and the audio was better. So I was kind of happy to do that and you know, just happy that I was able to get someone else's opinion. Now, as I record this, the Focus 200 is $159 here in the US and that puts it on par with other 4K webcams. And speaking of 4K webcams, I did not include another 4K webcam in this video, mainly because I don't have one. Um, I was hoping to, uh, last year when you know the pandemic started, I was actually looking at buying one, but I could never get my hands on one because one of you out there bought it, but that's okay. I got my DSLR, that's what I use now, so it's fine. But, um, but anyways, so I wasn't able to do that. But again, I'm giving you a pretty good idea of how the quality looks just by recording here. So hopefully you have a good idea. Now, if you have any questions about this, drop them in the comment section and I will try to answer them. Also, um, tell me your experience. Have you tried a 4K webcam? Do you like it, dislike it? Just let's just start a little conversation. But I do thank you guys for watching. If you want to support us, please use those links in the description below. Also, don't forget to support us and join us on Patreon. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you next time.